Very Good Hats. Written by Emma Straub. Illustrated by Blanca Gomez. Do you know what a hat is? I bet you think you know what a hat is. Some people think hats are fancy things you can buy at a haberdashery. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Acorns make snug hats for your fingers. Raspberries, chewed up gum, tortellini, and doll shoes work too. An empty pudding cup makes a good hat for a stuffed bear. Cats and other small furry creatures are good hats in wintertime. Hardcover books are nicely dramatic hats, if you have excellent posture. Paperback books are floppier than a soggy beret. Bubbles make very fine hats, if temporary. A crown is a hat for a queen, but flowers can be too. The roof is the house's hat, and the lid is a pot's hat. Everyone knows that. Pajama pants make for a dangly hat, and towels are twirly hats, majestic as a unicorn. Some hats come with the job. Empty bowls work, but you have to make sure they're empty first. Otherwise, you might have a soup hat instead. Some of the best hats come from grandparents. If you're in an airplane, you get to wear a cloud. If you're on a scooter, you have two hats, your helmet and the wind. At the baseball stadium, hats are filled with ice cream. You can make a mummy hat out of toilet paper, but the cat will try to eat you. If a turtle can tuck its head into its shell, does that make its shell a hat? Some hats are just falling leaves. You see? Hats are everywhere you look. Anything can be a hat if you believe it is. The end. Look around you. What could you make into a hat? Hope you enjoyed this story read by me, Star. Until next time, keep reading.